Cook for everyone, welcome back, it's your host GB and I hope you're having an amazing day. I read your comments and thank you so much for the support on the last Glitch Busters episode. So please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos, let's go right into it. The first one was highly requested and it's really easy to do, so I recommend you try it. You need to go to Shear Park and after that look for these tables or any place where you can sit. And you want to press sit and the camera button at the same time. If done correctly, you will be able to use the camera controls while being seated. But wait, because there's more. For obvious reasons, since you have the camera controls, you will be able to take a screenshot if you want to. And even better, if you zoom in and zoom out, and you stay in this position for a couple of seconds, you will automatically stand up. As you can see, you still have the controls of the camera and you will be able to move. And after that you just need to zoom in and zoom out again and you will see that the camera view and your perspective are going to increase by a lot. And the cheer park is going to be feeling a lot more bigger after you try this. In my opinion I think it looks really cool and I would like to have some facts with this perspective. Especially if you want to get rid of some snakes. And in case you're wondering, yes, you will be able to use your weapons, you will be able to shoot if you want, try all the things that you want, maybe you will be able to find more glitches. But if you try this, remember to jump on the trampoline, because it looks way better. Anyways, if you want things to go back to normal, just press the X that is located here. Next, Glitch. This one is really cool and I didn't think it was possible to be honest. And the main concept of this glitch is to have an invisible gun. It's not impossible but a little bit tricky. For this one you will need to have your weapon equipped and after that you want to press a pick button and unequip your weapon at the same time. If you follow the instructions correctly you will have an invisible gun. Sadly you will not be able to shoot like this but here's a very close up from the enemy. If you die after going up in the holder balloon, your teammates will be able to pick up your parachute. For this one, and as always, we will need to sacrifice the subject. And after that, we want to control the holder balloon all the way up. Just wait for our teammate to die and see what happens. Oh my god, freaking simp, it's so hard to get a jungle mood match right now. But if you didn't know, the holder balloon will go all the way down if you and your teammates die. And after 9 freaking matches, let's try this one more time. And yes, we're on the same place, we just died. Don't ask me why. And something really interesting that I didn't know is that if your teammate is right below the controls, you will not be able to use them. Time to try this again because I forgot to prone or crouch the last time. There goes my teammate. And sadly it's not going to work. I know this was possible before so maybe they fix it after they added jungle mode a second time. But for now I'm going to pause this one. Bruh. Next, glitch. For this one we have a couple of instructions that we need to follow. So let me explain everything really quick. First of all, you need to use an emote, I recommend you choose a long one, minimize the game for at least 3 to 5 seconds, open the game again and start to drive. If done correctly, this is going to happen. But since that is not enough for this channel, let's try this one more time. And remember 69 euros, don't drive any emote at the same time. Now we have another seat and glitch on Sheer Park. And for this one, you will need to see them peak at the same time. And I really wanted to show you this one, because it's a perfect expression that Phoenix and I have every time we record glitch posters or mid posters, because believe it or not, it's a lot of work. So please like and subscribe if you like this type of content and you want to see more. This is also how I look when I live stream for 5 hours. Next, glitch. A smoke grenade can extinguish a Molotov cocktail just like in CSGO. 
I don't think this game is that advanced, but let's try it anyways. For this one, we want to throw the Molotov Cocktail and the Smoke Grenade almost at the same time. The fire is being covered and we're still going to get hurt, so I'm going to boss this one. Bruh. For the next one, I didn't think it was that easy to do. You need to be driving a bike really fast, exit the game for at least 5 seconds, come back to the game and you will begin to fly. Surprisingly, we're going to survive, but sadly, we're not going to reach outer space like in the last Glitch Busters video. Next, Glitch. We are going back to Shear Park because there's still a lot of highly requested glitches that I need to show you. For example, if you're on top of the car and you blow it up, you will jump really high. Yes, that is going to be true and it's also going to be really fun. Same thing happens with the boat. Moving on, and now that you have a destroyed vehicle, if you get on top of it, it will not be able to respawn. Thank you so much for the love, and let's wait a couple of seconds to know if it's true. Yes, it's going to be true, but wait, there's more. If you try the same thing with a boat on land, you will have a different result. The next one is that if you destroy a vehicle, and another one is blocking the place where it spawns, the vehicle that you destroy will not be able to respawn. So we're gonna try this with a buggy and a bike. Now we just need to destroy the bike and see if it responds. Oh my god. We're gonna try this again because yes, sometimes there are so many sims in Shear Park. The bike is destroyed and now we just need to wait. And as you can see, I'm going to approve this one. Wow! Next one, if you press it and open the backpack at the same time, after that just drop your weapon and the weapon will be gone. Now we just need to drop the weapon and... Yes, it's going to disappear, but wait, there's more. Because you don't need to see it. If you drop your weapon, the weapon is going to disappear, so I'm going to pause this one. Bruh. Next, Glitch. This one is also highly requested. If you remember the last Glitch Busters episode, we did some testing with smoke grenades. This one is the same concept except they want me to use different scopes. So let's start with it two times. We're going to get closer. We're going to be able to see the enemy thanks to the scope, but the enemy will not be able to see us if the enemy is playing in TPP. This is how it looks with it six times, three times again, and last but not least, it will also work with a hollow sight and probably also with a red dot. But wait, there's even more because the same effect is going to happen if the enemy is underwater. This one is really all, so let me know down below if you think it's a trick or a glitch and if it should be fixed. And speaking of things that should be fixed and that they are also really old, if your helmet sticks out from a vehicle, well, you can still get damage. Next, glitch. Remember that weirdo I told you about the last episode? Jesus Christ! Well, he's back and he's not doing anything good. <gasps> Highly requested one Superman jump in FPP to see through a wall. There is a secret location inside the tunnels below the Cosmodrome. For this one, you will need a vehicle, and I recommend that you enter the tunnel number one. After that, you want to go straight until you get to this door, and you want to align the vehicle as straight as possible to the door. Take into account that with some skins this will not be possible and after you get to this point you just want to go straight and you will get inside. Once inside the secret location, if you move forward, 
you will be able to see an incredible and unique view of the Cosmodrome. And don't worry because the enemy will not be able to shoot you from this location. And if you want to get out of here, you just need to do a leap of faith. But wait, because there's still a lot of things that I want to tell you. For example, you can also get inside with this vehicle. Here's a better view in a sunny day. And if you're having so much trouble getting inside, you can bring a snow bike, get next to the door and just exit. But why? Because there's even more. Here's what happens when you drop a vehicle inside the abyss. And here's what happens when you get out of the vehicle. Just remember to move backwards because it's going to do a lot of damage. Ooh. Ooh. Remember to only try these glitches in a costume room. Like and subscribe if you want me to make more glitch posters videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will snipe you soon. Tschüss. Awesome.